few years ago, a certain auto manufacturer was having this problem where their gas pedals were sticking. So people were speeding out of control, going faster and faster and faster, eventually crashing and dying the entire car full of people. And uh, the interesting fact was that along these lines, when this was taking place, these people had enough time to grab their cell phones, dial 911, and say, help me, help me, I'm about to crash, my car's speeding out of control, I don't know what to do. Well, again, nine times out of ten, when something goes wrong with your vehicle, the correct answer is shift into neutral. Always shift into neutral. That can save your life. It's easy to say don't panic, but the calmer you can stay in a situation, no matter what it is that's going wrong, the better off you're going to be. And if you can manage to stay calm, shift the car into neutral, chances are you're going to get out of the situation safely. Now that situation we're going to apply here first and foremost to accelerator failure. If our gas pedal gets stuck, maybe it gets wedged under a floor mat or something just goes wrong and that gas pedal gets stuck on and we're speeding out of control, first and foremost shift into neutral. It does not matter how hard that engine's revving, how hard that engine's trying to take your car. If you're in neutral, there's no turning of the wheels, okay? You're just coasting. It, that red engine can rev as hard as it wants to rev, you're just coasting. You're not going any faster at all. So shift into neutral. That is the first and foremost thing that you need to do. So after we've shifted into neutral, we're going to start looking for our escape route. We're looking ahead for any alleys, any driveways, any big open areas where we can take the car and get it off the road someplace safe. Now, if you have your wits about you, put on your hazard lights at this point as well. You're identifying an escape route, get your hazard lights, which is that red triangle on your dash or above your steering wheel. And once those hazard lights start flashing on your vehicle, that alerts the other cars around you. Hey, there's a problem, something's going wrong, give me some space here. So the other cars will back off you. You want to make sure that you steer smoothly, brake very gently. Now, remember, if you're braking, you're slowing the car down. You need to have enough power or enough momentum while you're in neutral to actually get to where you're going and get off the road safely. You don't want to panic and brake too much, otherwise you're going to be stopped right there in the middle of the road. So you want to be coasting at a decent speed so that you can get to where you need to go before you apply your brakes too firmly. Pull off the roadway, make sure that you're someplace safe, you have your hazard lights on, and turn off the vehicle. Don't attempt to drive it again. Make sure that the problem is repaired looked at by a qualified mechanic.